What's good, everybody? Cerebral Vine 4, and we're gonna take our Nido Queen Queendom deck for a spin. Hopefully, kick some good ass with this cool deck. Stage 2, Stage 2, non GX Pokemon. That's my style. Alright, and let's see, I believe I should be going, or my opponent is going first, okay. And we're gonna open up with this Nidoran here, we have another one. Uh, this Pokemon is supposed to be like your basic for Nidoqueen, and you don't really want to put it in harm's way, but if you have four, you obviously have a great chance to open with it. And it's not necessarily a completely bad thing, because it can use Call for Family, and in the beginning, you're gonna appreciate that attack getting you other basic Pokemon on the bench. And it seems my opponent is opening up with Inkay there. Uh, might be some sort of a Malamar variant deck. And it's obvious what I'm going to do when it's going to be my turn. I'm going to attach the Psychic Energy Tron and use Call for Family. I have this Vulcan right here. And yeah, I forgot to mention this in this deck profile. Man, I always got to forget something. But I did have this guy in the beginning. But then I took him out for the fourth Elm. I have th I had three Elm and then one Volkner. But I decided, hey, you know what? It's just you need that maximum Elm and Volkner. Just netting me a trainer. Just netting me an item. It's not good enough. We can use the Pidgeots and hopefully dig for the candies that way and shit. So he's just not that good. When I have a bunch of Pidgeots, I don't probably don't need his uh, get any item effect so much. Even though we do need the rare candies. So I dropped it for the fourth Elm. I think it's a great, it's a right decision. But this game was before I, I took it out. I took the, I took the Vulcan out for the third Elm. All right. So let's see what my opponent is doing here. Uh, plays down, played down a, another NK. Has the Ditto there with the DC. Some Giratinas in the discard pile. He did a bunch of shit here. And we're gonna go ahead and use the Vulcaner here. I guess since I have it and. Uh, Obviously, what I'm going to do is get a Mystery Treasure, get more basic Pokemon. The number one thing you want to do in this deck early is to get your basic Pokemon out. Of course, this is true for most decks, but especially a deck like this where you got to get out a bunch of evolved Pokemon just for the sake of doing any real damage with Nidoqueen is just completely paramount. So discard the Psychic Energy, and I'm going to get Nidoran. I uh, can't really get much of anything. It's either that or maybe NK. So I'm going to go with the Nidoran here. And we can get another basic Pokemon once we attack with Nidoran. I'm going to get rid of uh, his skateboard before he makes use of it. Don't want to give it. Let him get the plus. Might as well since he didn't use it. So get rid of it right away. And search out another Pidgey. Since I have the Pidgeotto in hand. Good, good, good. So not the greatest, most amazing start in the world, but I only have Volkner for my supporter. So it's not so bad. We do have at least a few basic Pokemon around. Uh, we got four out, or three, I guess. The active Pokemon doesn't really count. And it's my opponent's turn here. I wonder what he's going to do. doesn't have much going on in his hand. I'm going to go straight with the Cynthia. All right. Fix that small hand of yours. And make some plays, get your your own shit going. And he plays down the unidentified fossil. So I've been seeing more and more people trying to make this Aerodactyl deck work. I wish I had the Aerodactyl cards myself to show you show you guys the right way to build the deck. Because I don't think Malamar is the the way to go with it, or at least maybe the way people build it, it's not really that consistent. Uh, it's just, it's definitely be much simpler to make a deck like that work since. Aerodactyl is only a stage 1. It's not a stage 2 like the other fossils. Right. So I'm going to gonna go ahead and use the Marshadow 2. A uh, card that it seems has dropped in popularity a bit. At least I haven't been seeing it. Thank God for that. And my opponent went ahead and used it here, giving me more cards. You don't really want to use this card when your opponent doesn't have much going on in his hand. You essentially give him free cards. And this is what he did here. He gave me Ditto. He gave me another PG, he gave me the Erica, which is going to work wonders in this case here. I'll be able to draw max value, six cards, it's perfect. So yeah, Erica is, it can be missed many times, but she can be hit many times as well. Perfect supporter at the right time. And my opponent obviously is going to try and power up these, 
fossils or redactyls. He already has that ditto kind of set up there. And unidentified fossil with a psychic energy too. We're going to go ahead and evolve our Pidgeotto there. And play my other Pokemon down. Go with this big Aragas. Aragas Hospitality. And draw a lot of good shit. Got the rare candy. Which is going to work great right here since I have the Needle Queen. Evolve into you. Very, very good. And we can start attacking and use Queen's Call as well. With this, I'm able to get my engine going even more. So we're going to search out Nidorina, since it's the only Pokemon I can actually evolve into this turn. And search out the rest of the shit next turn. Evolve into you, and use our drawing effect of Pidgeotto Airmail. Yeah, like when you ship, <laughs> ship things at the post office. That's when I think of when I hear airmail. And uh, let's get the Nido Queen there. Good things. I revealed good things here. And get you in hand so that I can search out something different next turn with Nido Queen. So this should be an easy knockout here on this little NK. Uh, 320 damage or 220 damage with the weakness. So doing a 110 without the weakness. So you guys can see that you need a lot of Pokemon. Like with only two evolved Pokemon. Uh, you just barely do like you just do 110, which is hardly good damage for this stage too. Uh, if this was an Empoleon or Ludicolo, you would have been doing like upwards to 200 damage and shit. Uh, I mean, Ludicolo was going to be doing 170, but you definitely do a, a lot easier damage with those Pokemon. But this is Nido Queen. Uh, we're going to have to work a bit harder to get her maximum true damage output. So my opponent uses Ultra Ball, searches this up Striker. Uh, it's going to serve him well right here. Get four straight cards with Sprint. Doesn't have to lose anything. And getting the first prize is important because this Aerodactyl deck is an anti-meta deck itself. And we're going to be trading single, single knockouts, single prizes every turn. So getting the lead and keeping up the pace is important if I'm going to win. Now... His Pokemon is just a stage 1, it's going to be much easier to get out. And see, he got two of them out immediately. So I'm going to have to really pick up the, keep, keep up the pace and just keep drawing, try no matter what to get my shit every turn. Not miss a beat, because we got to keep up. We're running a stage 2 here. Uh, we can't afford to fall behind. So he easily gets the knockout on this Nido Queen, even with a 160 HP. This Aerodactyl is really powerful. And what am I going to do here? We're going to promote the Pidgeotto because I need I need, need Arena on the bench so we can attach Psychic Energies too. So evolve with the Rare Candy since I top deck deck, I suppose. Let's evolve Malamar as well. And I'm going to need a bunch of shit here uh, to be able to get an attack off. So Queen's Call. Let me get, let me get another Nido Queen. I guess since we can get the Nido Queen and then get another search going. Pretty good. Gonna work out nicely, I guess. So, second Nido Queen is on the field. Let me use my Professor Elm here. And we can search out. We're definitely getting a Pidgeotto. And get another Nido Ran, I guess. And what else? What else? The bench is gonna be filled up anyway. Let's get another PG. Alright, and evolve into you. So, I have one more search to make with Nido Queen. Who should we place down? PG or Nidorina, or Nidoran. And let's use Aramel. I get the DC, that's one of the pieces I needed. Very good, I've got the switch in hand. So I'm guaranteed to make an attack this turn and not got this uh, Aerodactyl. It's good because we don't, we can't afford to give him, give him any leeway here. So psychic recharge, gonna get a psychic energy here on one of the Nido Queens, and have the DC, and I still have a search with Queendom. Uh, it's basically it's gonna be another Pidgeotto, but I think is it even, is it even in the deck? I think there's only. We got two. There should be one left, but I think it's in the prizes. Or, no, I guess you're in the deck. All right. Good. I guess I'll search you. 
makes sense. Since I have another Nido Queen on the bench, it just makes sense to evolve into the PG, put the PG down. Right, so we have one, two, three, four Pokemon. So once you have Nido Queen out, then she really helps you out to get the rest of the guys you need. 210 damage, very, very strong here. Took in a bit of work, but we're doing high damage without even any add ons. This is pure damage. So she really is like a nemesis of the GX Pokemon once she gets going. And my opponent going to play down another unidentified fossil. Has the other Aerodactyl ready to attack. And we're going to be trading knockouts here. And I got to keep up, keep up the pace. I mean, we have the other DC in hand. I'll be able to use Malamar 2. So I should be able to make another attack here since we have the Guzma. I'll promote one of the Pichotos, but... We gotta, we gotta get some more shit going. Like I need, to, I suppose, uh, uh, since we only can only have one Malabar, and since I'm already making my manual attachments anyway, I suppose what I need is the uh, the escape board, right? So we can have that pivoting with Pidgeotto. So see, there's a lot of stuff you really need with this deck, but there's just not the space with it. I'm already running 30 trainers. And that's not too many. It's not like low, a low trainer Skeleton, but it's not the highest either. Because you got to run a lot of Pokemon. And I still got to have the 12 energy uh, standard. So my opponent gets the knockout with Aerodactyl here. And we're going to promote Pidgeotto here. Uh, the great thing about Pidgeotto is that at least once you get it out, uh, giving you those free draws is very nice. Uh, giving you the option as well. It's not quite a just draw one card. You get to, it's an acrobike without the discard. You get to see what you want to get. So Malamar, let's get the Psychic Energy. Get the SBN one, the pretty one from the OG days. Put it on Nido Queen. put the DC on, and what should I do? Like we have for both of the Nido Queens are in the discard pile, man, damn. So, there's no way. I'm definitely going to put them in the deck with Rescue Stretcher. I'm not going to search only one in hand, but when I think about it, maybe maybe I want to search one in hand, actually. Yeah, we'll see. We get the Rare Candy with Pidgeotto. And uh, you know what? I think, yeah, we're going to go ahead and get one on the field. Uh, I'm only It means I only have two Nido Queens left, but... My opponent doesn't really have a lot of shit going here. This Aerodactyl and a few of the fossils there. I should I should be able to run him out of resources first, I, w I would think. And we managed to see the escape board as well. Very good, exactly what I needed. Let's get the Cynthia 2 with Pijoto. So Pijoto getting me all the shit I need. Very good. Let's put the escape board here. I don't even have to use my Guzma. Queen's Call. Search something. I don't really need to get anything more. We have all of our Pokemon here. Uh, we're going to evolve into the other Nido Queen as well next turn. So, retreat. Go ahead and attack with Nido Queen. Right, right. Power Lariat. Finish off the Aerodactyl. And it's going to put me at three prizes. I will be able to retaliate next turn as well. I've got the escape board, I have the Guzma, I've got the DC in hand, everything I need to make my attack. And my opponent, he has to get his pieces out. I know I can have them, but can he have them? Uh, he has the fossils, but no Aerodactyl. Uh, needs a manual attachment too, since he promoted the fossil in the active position. So managed to get that. And let's see if he's going to get the rest. Uh, uses Ultra Ball there. Gonna try and search. I would imagine a Redactyl discards the Shrine and one of the Lilies and can't get shit. Alright, so maybe I'm gonna get lucky here. Go ahead, goes ahead and use Erika's Hospitality. I mean, two Aerodactyls are in the discard pile, so he should only have like two more left. Uh, right, there's two of them there. And can he make a play here? He's taking his time, not doing anything. Do you have a play? And he scoops right there. So it's GG for me. 
a bit uneventful, but I suppose that's what happens. I don't know if the uh, redactor was in the prizes or maybe he did have in the deck but didn't see it. But victory for us, not against the most broken deck, but at least we can take care of the Aerodactyl, no problem. And I hope you guys enjoyed this game. Hope you guys subscribe, leave a like, share this with your friends. I'll see you on the next one. What's we'll say?